Well, hi folks. <clears throat> if you're like me, sometimes when you try to remove tint, it doesn't come out right. As you can see, I left a hell of a mess because, well, I used the garbage bag bit, but what happened was, uh, because of the angle of the windshield, I guess maybe the weight of the garbage bag, it just didn't stay. So I started picking at it, and of course I'm left with little spots and little residue. So what I did is I took a garbage bag and I cut it into small one foot um, square sheets. Then I used a combination of soapy water, which I made with shaved up old, um, I took old soap, shaved it, put it in a soda bottle, and just let it sit there for months with a little bit of water. It turns into soapy goo. I mixed that with water and I made myself a little soap and water solution. I've also tried Goo Gone, I've also tried rubbing alcohol, I've also tried Windex. Now what happened was I did get the tint off by using the square method and this part of the window came out fine. I moved to this part of the window and even though I kept peeling the tint off I was still left with the glue. And of course I've got defrosters so using a razor blade is out of the question. So I figured, how else am I going to get this glue residue off? Well, I figured, well, if it worked good for the tint, why not for the glue? So I sprayed soapy water, and I reapplied the plastic bag. And what you see here isn't the tint. This is the glue. So what I've been doing, as I went and got my camera to show you, is that I am just peeling now off, this is just the glue. And I used the same method I used with the original tint, using the garbage bag and the soapy water. And what I found out is that the glue will react the same way. Now this is going to get all of it off. It's going to get a good deal of it off. And the rest I'm going to try scrubbing with um, Windex and 409 and other chemicals I know that work. But when you have that whole bit of glue residue, I found out that if you'd use the same procedure you used to get the tint off, as you can see here, it's coming off. And remember, this is not the tint. This is the glue. Now I see a lot of people using the razor blade method, and again, I can't do that because of the frosters. So what I've done is I've covered the glue with the plastic bag. Now you see here it's ripping and I can't get all of it off. But um, I'm gonna put the camera down for a second and peel this off and show you what I got. Okay, I peeled it away from the plastic. I can't really do much of the plastic anymore, so we'll take that down. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is the glue. It came off, it's very brittle, but by using the soap and water technique, I was able to peel that off as well. And you still see some residue here. I can just get a fingernail in there. Let's see, I put the camera down for a second. Get my fingernail in there. That's not working too good. Let's see if I can start it, just start it with the razor. Being careful not to damage my defroster. Let's see, this is where I didn't have the plastic. So, logic would say we'll put the plastic back and try it again, which I will do. But, there you go. You took the plastic off of one fell, fell swoop, so... Here I'm going to spray the soapy solution again. Remember, this is just ground up soap. Irish Spring, Ivory Soap, whatever. Reapply. Make sure you get all the glue off. The original plastic, reapply the plastic into the spot where you still have this glue residue. What's I'm going to do here? And just let the sun and the heat do its thing. Now, in this corner, there's no soap, so what I'm going to do is just, just to keep it up there, as a piece of glue. Spray that area again. Then I'll come back 
another half hour and try and take the rest of this off. But there it is, that's removing the glue and not the tint, just the leftover glue residue. Figure if it worked fine for the tint, why not for the glue, right? Now we see up here, we still have uh, remnants of the glue. As you can see, it's quite brittle. They're gonna be here forever taking it off. So what I did over here is I just kept rubbing with Goo Gone, isopropanol, and it's just this top section because that's what I tried to remove last night. I got impatient because it wasn't falling. Now, when I got to this point, this is now where the glue was that I peeled off. This is now just dirty. It's not even sticky. So I'm going to try and wipe that with the Windex real quick and see what I did here. I'm also going to put Windex on that top part where um, I had the glue left over. Look at that. There's still some glue residue, but the Windex, for the most part, is taking it off. Probably, I'm doing this fast to show you, but I'm thinking a couple of more applications and also letting the glue, the Windex just sit, will probably have better results. Let's give another shot. Same area. Now we'll let it sit for a few seconds. I'm still surprised that all that glue came off in one spot. Now you can see the bottom of the windshield here. I don't know if it comes out on camera, but um, uh, right around there, that part. I don't know what that is. That's either glue reacting with the Windex or just some stuff. So let's see. And that's glue reacting with the Windex. But as you can see, if I just do a little circle here, that glue is gone. Now that I let the Windex sit for a while, the ammonia in the Windex also reacts with the glue. This part of my window is now perfectly clean. And I have a little residue here on the side, in the corners. That, you know, if I really want to be a perfectionist, I gotta pick all that out. Or it places up here. Well, you'd have to actually get the razor in. And it's hard, like I said, when you're dealing with your defrosters, you don't want to damage the defroster. So you work your way right up until part way up to the defroster. You grab the part of the glue here at the top of the razor, and you pull up, and it comes off. You don't get anywhere near your defroster. Here's another piece here. And just work it up. It's going to take some patience. All right, grab it with the razor and pull it up. And that's off. Now you go over that spot with the Windex. This spot here, where I had these ugly circles, there's no defroster here, so here I can go razor blade crazy and scrape all that off. But the other thing that works too is 409 or Fantastic, which is basically the same chemical formula as 409. Anyway, this section here, that was all glue. And that glue came off in one whole piece. Okay, it's been about a half hour since we moved this um, residue from the glue. Tint is down there, there's the glue. We had some glue residue left on this window we couldn't get off. So what we tried to do, which I did on this section, is use the same method we used for taking off the tint, which is soapy water, cover with a garbage bag, and let the sun do its job. Now I had some leftover stuff down here that I couldn't get off. Well, let's see if this works. We'll start by peeling this deck. And we have some stuff up here at a camera range. You can see this is glue here. It just falls away. 
but that's not what my big problem was. My big problem was down lower, which is around this section here. And you see, it comes off with just a fingernail. That's how loose it is. My quest is to try and get off of one piece, which I can't do with the camera. So I'm going to set the camera down. Hopefully, I'll be able to capture it all. What I'm doing in this section here. Let's find that razor blade. Let's see if we can get a nice clean start somewhere. That's the key to everything, too, is getting a start somewhere where you can make this whole thing go across. The problem is a lot of this this part of the window was filled with the bubbles. The air bubbles that got underneath. Let's peel all this off. That's the air bubbles that got underneath the trim. Underneath the um the tint, which caused the problem in the first place. And I got a corner here. Well, see, I'm having that same problem. It's coming off in pieces and not one piece. Well, it did it on the side window. I thought I'd be lucky enough to have it done here. Again, being very careful not to razor down to the line for the defroster. Just enough where I can grab it and get some kind of cooperation from it. As I get down to more where the soapy water was, it's actually easier. I can just use my fingernail, which I don't have much. And it's hard too because the third light is here too, which this gets in the way. I move that out. Yeah, this this isn't going the way I want it to go, but as you saw the other part, it worked. This is the harder part because this is where the tint actually was really badly bubbled from, I guess, whoever put it on didn't do it right or whatever, but I can grab a corner of it this way. I said being very careful not to hit my um, the frosting lines. Then again, something that comes off like this with my fingernail would probably come off pretty good with a scrub brush. That's what I'm thinking. Well, you get the basic idea. Is to use the same method you use to get the tint off the window. And if it works, when the glue is cooperative and the glue's in one piece, but with all these bubbles, every time it hits a plot, a spot where the bubbles used to be, that's where it gives up and breaks. So you can't get one piece. Hey, what are you gonna do, you know? You try different things. I'll try up here. But for the most part, it's working pretty good. It's just you're left with a lot of tiny pieces. If I run the razor down between each each bit of the defroster, I'm winding up with some big pieces I can grab. Especially if I go down here towards this light, which is really hard to get around. Especially someone like me, who's not tiny, to fit back here to do this. Also the fact that it's over 90 degrees out doesn't help either. And again you get the idea. I guess there'll be some things I'll just have to live with, you know. Now, there's no defroster down here this section. Problem is reaching this area. Well, 
there you have it, folks. There's an example of a YouTube video that works for one thing and not another. So good luck with your project. Looks like I'm going to be here a while. Just remember, don't be afraid to try different things. I'm not talking about gasoline or lighter fluid either. I mean, I even tried acetone because I figured, well, acetone takes off nail polish. It turns a lacquer into a different chemical, thus easier to remove. But you got to remember, too, that these defroster lines are put on with also with a type of adhesive. And you take that off, and you're pretty much screwed. And you're not left with a defroster. And then I'm thinking, well, how many times a year do I need a defroster compared to how many times I need to see out the back window? Now well, that's it. You're going to have to pick at it. You're going to be left with a mess. That's the best I could do. Thanks for watching.